What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in in today's video let's check out 10 essential edge panel applications which are available to download for free on Galaxy store this includes couple of default panels which are available on your Samsung phone as well now many of these panels you may be already aware but for those of you who are new to Samsung or some of you who have not explored the edge panel apps this is for you guys these are quite simple yet very useful panels you must consider checking out now let's get started the first edge panel is clipboard now this is a very essential edge panel you should have it on your phone as you can see here all the recently copied text images are available on this panel so we have got all we have got text and we have got images even the images which you have copied in the recent past will be available here you can scroll down and look at any image you want and directly copy it from here to paste it anywhere you want even the text the links whatever is available in the history of copied content will be available to copy it again from here and directly paste it on your messaging app or anywhere you want. So this will definitely come in handy. You will get quick access to all the recently copied content on this panel. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is recent files. As the name suggests, all the recently opened files will be available here. We have got download history, documents, images, audio, as well as video files. So all these files you have recently opened here. You can just scroll down to access any of these files directly from this panel. Again, a very quick access on the edge panel for all your recent files. Now, before we go on to the third one, if you're new on the channel, I request you guys to hit the subscribe button to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, Galaxy watches, and anything related to technology. Do let me know your thoughts about all these edge panels in the comment section below. Now, this third panel is Music Finder. As the name suggests, this app will listen to the music that is playing around and let you know the title of that music. Of course, it doesn't automatically identify the music. You have to tap on this button as in when you tap on this icon, it will quickly identify the song and let you know. We have an option to open the application and check out the recently identified songs as well. Of course, you can do this on Google app as well. But having this cool application on the edge panel is kind of nice, isn't it? Now, moving on to the next one. This is notification edge. As you can see, it will show you all the notifications which are recently received. On this entire stretch, it is going to show us about eight notifications. And when you tap on more, it will show more notifications here. The best part about this edge panel is even if you have dismissed all your notifications on your default notification panel, the edge panel will still show you all of them. So you're not going to miss out on any notifications that you receive on your phone. That will be useful for a lot of us. Now let's move on to the next one. This is voice recorder. So we all know what it does. Just tap on this icon to record anything you want. That's all it does. We can just type on view files to access all the recordings done on this edge panel. Of course, we do have a voice recorder on the phone, but this is on the edge panel. Now let's go to the next one. This is called quick notes. It's a very simple and intuitive note making application we have here. Just tap on the plus button to add the quick notes and that will show up on the quick panel. You can easily and quickly delete them here. So deleting and adding quick notes is quick and easy on this panel. Do check that out. Now moving on to the next one. This is reminder on the edge panel. Of course, this is the default Samsung reminder application on your edge panel. So all the reminders that you have added will show up on the panel here. We can just quickly tap on add to add a reminder. And when you tap on reminder, it is going to take you to the reminder application, which will give you a complete access to the application. The eighth panel we are going to look at is tools. This has got five basic tools that you must have on your phone. You've got a compass, you've got tally counter, we have a torch, we have got surface level, and we also have a ruler. So these will definitely come in handy in many circumstances or situations. I'm not sure how many of you guys use this tool panel. Do let me know in the comment section below. This panel is something which will definitely come in handy for a lot of people out there. So do consider trying this out. The next panel is to-do list. This is a very simple to-do list application for your edge panel. It does the basic stuff what it is supposed to do. We can easily manage items here by tapping on this. You can add a new item here or you can delete the to-do lists here. Once you're done with a particular activity which is on the list, you can just check this box. It will just strike off that particular item to indicate you that it is already done. But if you want to delete it completely, you will have to go to manage items and you can delete it from there. Now the last application or the last edge panel is widget edge. 
all the widgets that you have on your phone can be placed on this edge panel. This may not be that useful, but if you want to make your home screen clutter free, then you can place all those widgets over here on the edge panel and get a quick access to all these applications. We can place up to about eight widgets on this edge panel. Tap on this setting icon on the top. Here you will see all the widgets on the left hand side. You can just add the one which you want on the edge panel. As simple as that. All right, so this is the 10th and the last edge panel we have on this video. You guys let me know if you're already using all of these panels. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.